So I make $2,317 every single hour I work. And no, that's not a joke, sarcasm, literally. Every hour I work, that's about how much I make. Let me know as well, dude. We can we can run it under- Oh, I need to go get a printer. Can I do the number 10, please? Nothing fancy, as you can tell. Like, I know I- How much money do you think we lost, like, doing that? Now, granted, it wasn't always like this, but later on in the video, I'll cover exactly how I got to this point. But first, what do I actually do to make this type of money? So, I do this thing called dropshipping, where basically you find a product that is either solving a problem or has some sort of wow factor, you market it, and then you start selling it. The kicker is you never have to touch the product that you actually sell. Now, I know dropshipping gets a bad rep a lot. People honestly shit on it, but it's because they don't know exactly how to actually do it. On any given day, I work anywhere from three to five hours. So let's just take the average and say I work four hours every single day. For hour one, all I do is I look at what I didn't do the day before and I'll work on that. Sometimes it's getting back to emails, Slack responses. Sometimes I have to do some calls, but pretty much hour one of my my workday is just catching up on stuff I wasn't able to do the day prior. So the second hour is spent just checking in on all of that stuff as well as other businesses. I'll do quick five to 10 minute calls with some of my business partners and just check to see how everything is going. As you'll start to see throughout this video, I don't do a lot of like sit down and grinding on my computer. It's more so just checking on everyone in my overall team to make sure stuff is operating smoothly. But it wasn't always like this. There were times where I was grinding for 12 hours a day, but it's just not like that anymore. Hour three, I usually will be spending, again, doing more calls. This is more where I get into the creative side of things. So an example of that would be last week, I spent a lot of my hour three working to find cool products and then once I found products I was finding creators to make content for our ads that we now just launched today for a certain store or brand that we're running. And then hour four is just kind of wrapping up anything that I forgot to do. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not crazy organized all the time, so there is stuff that I forget about. And then people message me at the end of the day and they're like, hey Seb, can you get me this? And I'm like, oh crap, I need to do that. So that is typically what happens for the final hour of the day. I'll just sit on my computer for like an hour or so and get stuff done, whether it be I need to take some content or do an email or write a contract or whatever the case may be. It's just simple stuff like that. I'll also communicate with suppliers towards the end of the day because they're usually awake and starting their day at nighttime for myself. So that's pretty much what hour four is broken down into. All right, so this is hour one. I am essentially just replying to some people on WhatsApp and Slack. I have a few different teams that I work with, and so I'm checking in on all of that stuff. One of my team is, or one of the people on my team is telling me to upgrade a plan for one of our softwares that we use for our stores. So I am doing that to basically make it easier for us to run our stores. And then just, uh, yeah, tons of stuff like that. It's also our inner circle. I have, you know, messages from certain people that are DMing me. So I'm gonna get back to them at this time and then just, yeah, make sure I keep up. And then that will probably be around 45 minutes to an hour of work. So for this product, I'm going to be honest, there were a few other people inside of the inner circle that sold it. All of them failed. So like all of them tried to sell it and no one actually saw success. We even personally tested it. So I personally would not recommend selling that product just because I don't think it has a lot of potential. It's not a big enough problem solver to be able to actually sell big numbers and big quantities of the product. So I would just kind of recommend against it if I'm gonna be honest. So, uh, the product I was just talking about was this product. One of my students asked me about it. It's these leg warmers. You'd think it was good, but I don't know. It just didn't work out for a few of the other students who tested it, so no, no, no. <sighs> All right, now we're gonna go over someone's website. This is actually pretty badass. That's a cool product. Hey, what's up? It's a, actually a really good product and your website set up well. A few things I would tweak. I would change the overall um, app add to cart or not change, but I would add the add to cart app that's sticky add to cart. That way people can buy the product at any moment on your website. So that's number one. Other than that though, it looks really, really good. I would just make sure you have a fast website speed. And then other than that, it should be good to go. Make sure everything is dialed in, like little things like your payments and checkout. But yeah, other than that, dude, it looks really solid. Good job. So yeah, that's another person who wants my opinion on their website. I'm just telling them I drop ship, but I also help others drop ship because you know, 
Me personally doing like 500 bucks a day doesn't hit the same, so helping others do that is much more fulfilling to me. Like there's a guy that I help get to $1,000 a day in profit and it makes me feel so much better than me making $1,000 a day in profit. So yeah, I'm just trying to help others do the same thing that I do because it's given me a ridiculous life and I know others can also do it if they just kind of tap into their potential and give it their all, so yeah. Yo, hey, is Shopify having issues? Yeah. The checkout went down and no one could process yep. payments or anything. It's back up now. So okay. It's been up, but there was one hour period of when it went down. Now Jeez. all the ads are just popped up and <laughs> optimization just sucks for the rest of the day. How much money do you think we lost like doing that? <laughs> that, that having um, that happen? Was it a lot? Yeah. Uh, at that time, for one of the stores, was doing 4K an hour. The other one was doing 1.5K now. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that's brutal. Yeah, dude, it's fucked. Like on average, we're getting right now a three to four X return on everything. And so if we are, sorry, my cleaner's in the background. <laughs> And that's my girlfriend, I'm just kidding. Um, like on average, we're getting a three to four X. So let's say it was $6,000 per hour. That means we probably spent around $2,000 in ads in one single hour and we didn't make any money. So it was just gone out the window, two grand down. Um, so yeah, that's not the best. We had another issue like a few months ago where we had a store that we did well. We did a quarter million dollars in an hour, or not an hour, sorry, that'd be nuts, in a week, but the payments got put on hold for an extra three days. And keep in mind, cash flow is tight when we're doing that much money. I only keep like a hundred to $200,000 in my bank accounts. And so spending that much and having it being held for another few days was like cutting it close. So um, yeah, I don't know. There's just stuff that goes wrong, but it's part of the business. So yeah, for the challenge, if you guys want access to it, you know, you have this uh, Zendrop plan and once you get it, then you get a free call every week. That way I think more people would be enticed if they saw Seb and I talking about this. That register, like we have a tag that registers them for the actual, for this coaching call mm -hmm. and it sends them a reminder. So, I mean, at least like if they register there, they would get that reminder as well. Okay, cool. And I mean, I think the actual, like the coaching calls a huge push um, because, you know, they get obviously free coaching. So mm -hmm. it's super helpful. Come on, G. Don't fuck with me, bro. I gotta get food. I could eat a, eat a cow. You've been working for how long? I've probably worked, I know on average it's like four hours, but today maybe like two hours. Okay, two hours in, mm -hmm. how much uh, profit? Okay, so I don't know exactly. Um, a lot of our stores are revenue, and so I'll have to track profit, but I would say today's been a good day. We're doing really well. Besides that one hour that kind of threw us apart, but probably around 15 to 20K revenue. So for my end, probably like 10K maybe. Like 10K profit. Yeah, 10K profit. <laughs> I had my biggest month ever, and it was a little over $800,000 in profit. And I talked to my dad the other day and told him, and he was like, what the fuck? Like, it, it was a weird interaction. Like, it was awesome, because he's so proud of his son, yeah. but he was like, Sebastian, you made what mom and I make for like a few years in one single month. Just from dropshipping? Yeah, that, and then some other different things uh, total, and I was like. Wait, that was just one month? Yeah. <laughs> It's at the point where like money is just cool to have, but now it's a game where I just want to keep growing my businesses and keep focusing on stuff. But yeah, man, it's a, uh, I don't know. It's weird. Do you want Chick-fil-A sauce? You want sauce? And then I'm going to do, I still got a few more things to order. I'll do two Chick-fil-A sandwiches by themselves with no pickles. I'll be with Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> Let me get some lights in here. You want to explain what you're doing there? Yeah, so I just moved to Arizona. So I am checking my emails, but I need to set up a new company here. So we just got it finalized. I just need to send my accountant and their team some more stuff to make sure that we can finalize the document and the companies. Um, and then yeah, be good to go. So I am checking in on that stuff 
and making sure I have or given them all of the documents they need to basically process my new company in a new state because you can't just hop from state to state with the company. It's every single state you're in, you have to make a new one. So I've got to dissolve my California one and get this one set up. So I'm just kind of looking through emails and stuff and handling that. Okay, this is actually kind of priority. Can you add a printer to an order or did we already submit the target order? Oh shit, okay. Okay, can you make sure it has a scanner as well? Thank you, baby. So I was just replying in the Discord, talking to everyone in our program, and one of the guys who we trained up has done $25,000 in the last 18 days, which is really good. I think, yeah, that's kind of crazy to see that because he was just a beginner two months ago, so. I don't know, that's pretty cool. But I'm basically just uh, replying to some people on Discord, getting back to some students and other people because like I said, dropshipping for me is fun, but helping others as well is also very beneficial for myself to have other people then look up to me and be like, yo, thank you so much. You crushed it and uh, yeah, it's just, it's good. Oh, I made one. Two. So yeah, I guess today would be like hour four. Today was not a crazy busy day. So I got on some calls. I emailed some people, messaged some people on Slack, checked in on ads, checked on our store, checked on creative, still getting made. Now that's pretty much it like for the day. I'm going to be honest. Today's kind of a slower day. Thursdays and Tuesdays are slow. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is busy for me. So yesterday was a Wednesday. So I don't really have a crazy amount left to do. So I'm playing pool, hanging out in my game room, but yeah, I'm just gonna work out and then I have a dinner tonight and then I will call today done pretty much. So today wasn't a crazy work day, but we still did really well, probably around again, 10, 15 K in profit. So not too shabby. Work day is done. Usually I work out in the morning, but this was a busy morning for me, so we didn't get to. Um, but I have to get a workout in just because it's good for you. I want to keep my muscles alert. I want them to know that I want these guys to stick around. So we're doing chest now. Work day again, pretty much done. I handle a lot of business, made some money. Now I'm just gonna do some chest and that will wrap up the day pretty much. I have a dinner tonight for my buddy, but uh, yeah, that's kind of it for the day. So just gonna wrap up, work out and get jacked. Can you hear me? I'll tell you when you get over here. I don't know the exact number, but I'm assuming it will be around $12,000 profit. Yeah, maybe like 10, I would say 10 to 15, but probably around 12, because today was a little bit of a slower day because Shopify, the checkout wasn't working for an hour, which was like minus $6,000 plus minus $2,000 in ad spend. So yeah, set us back a little bit, but probably like 10 to $12,000. All right, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. I gotta go shower up. Dinner, we're gonna leave in like an hour, so shower up, go to dinner, enjoy some company with my buddies, and celebrate. Oh fuck, I gotta grab cigars for him. I gotta go do that as well. And then uh, I'll call it a day. Maybe play some Call of Duty before bed, but that's about it. I'm gonna go get ready.